Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. I'm going to talk to you today about what we call external data. These are the external databases, the internet based databases from which the RT Systems programmers can pull information that makes it quick and easy for you to set up a file for repeaters in your area or repeaters in a vacation area you're going to. You go to File, External Data. Radio Reference is more commercial than amateur, and it does require his premium license, which you buy from his site. Repeater Book is free. That's the one we're going to use today. Our Finder Web Search has the advantage of the route search, which is really a cool feature. But it also requires a subscription that you get from the RFinder site. And frequency lists are some frequencies that, that don't change. They're the weather, GMRS, FRS, and some other frequencies that you may need. And we've just put them here so they'll be handy for you. So let's go to Repeater Book and get started. The screen comes up and it wants a location. The location can be a city and state. It can be a zip code, whatever's easiest for you. I start with 30241. I'm going to go 50 miles around it. I'm going to do 2 meters and 70 centimeters. And I'm going to tell it OK. This return is not a programming file. This is a return, so one, I can make sure that I got the area that I expected to get. Maybe I typed the zip code wrong. Maybe I fat fingered it and typed 20340 instead of what I wanted to type. And I got someplace completely different. It's not what I want, so I can go again. I can tell here that's not what I want, but it is. I wanted Georgia and parts of Alabama because this pulls in a circle and LaGrange is right on the edge of, of Alabama and Georgia. Down here at the bottom, we have some ways that you can manipulate this data to put it into your programming file. Let's start with name. Name, when you first use it, will be set to call sign. Call sign is the default because lots and lots of radios only give you five, six, seven characters maybe for display on the radio, especially handhelds. You can't put the city name in there or you're going to truncate everything to the first five characters and then it won't make any sense if you have several repeaters in the same city. So city's not really an option here unless you know your radio is a 16 character display and then it's a better option. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at call sign. But in comment, I want to choose city. Here again, I have the choice of call sign, state and repeater notes and I want city and I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. Selected bands is important. I could search through this list for things that I can't use one at the time and that'd be fairly tedious or I can come right here and know that my radio does not do DMR, it does not do D-Star and it does not do P25 and the programmer will automatically take those out of the list wherever it finds them. Then I click Create File for FTM 400. And in your case, it'll say Create File for your radio that you're working in. Everything comes in, and notice they're in numerical order. I'm going to go up to Edit and down to Sort. Remember I told you to leave the city name in the comment? And I'm going to sort all channels. When I tell it OK, now, Aniston is together, Auburn is together, Columbus is together. So when I'm in those areas, I have my frequencies that I want right together. Much better use of the information. 
tones are already set up for you. We did that automatically coming right out of the repeater book information. So you're ready to go. Communications, then data to radio. Follow the instructions on the screen very carefully. And your radio will be programmed up and ready to use. So we hope you get some help out of it, programming your radio and getting on the air in a hurry. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.